Hi team, welcome to my session on coffee with Prab and you know the 2024 has started and I'm sure you have seen multiple videos on YouTube, a lot of mentors you have, you reach out to them and try to understand the different career options in cyber security. See in this video, I'm not going to give you any session about what you do or what you don't do and all that. But before we're going to start this, my name is Prab Nair and I have a 17 plus year of experience in cyber and information security. Currently. I'm doing trainings. Training is something my passion and consulting is basically my profession. In this video, I want to share some experience about the cybersecurity career. And this video is not about, okay, you should do this or you should do that. I used to receive a lot of DM actually on uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. Prab, uh, I am a GRC guy and sorry, I am an accountant. I want to move into cybersecurity. I'm a married. Uh, I have 18 plus years of experience in IT. I want to move to cybersecurity. Uh, uh, I am into SOC, but I don't like SOC for the job. I want to move to GRC. Okay, I'm a fresher. I spend my two months on cyber SOC, and I'm not getting any job opportunities. And uh, I'm planning to change my career. Can you share your thoughts? What is the best career according to you? And I'm sure the pointers which I'm talking about here, you also been through same. And if yes, please type in the comment box. And for that people only, I bring this video. See, when you're talking about cybersecurity, okay, which part of cybersecurity has a great opportunity? Okay, it's a myth. Every options, every scope in cybersecurity has their own scope. Now, when you're talking about the overall cybersecurity, we have a multiple verticals. Cybersecurity is a part of information security. And when you're talking about information security, the first part we have a penetration testing or security testing where we test the products. Let's take example. This is the product we have. And now what happens in this product, uh, I want to see how secure is this product. Understood. I want to understand how secure is this particular product. So I will basically try to test this product. I'll try to check the vulnerability. So we hire people for that. That's called penetration tester. And today we call them as a red teamer and all that. And if I take the same device, I want to secure them. Okay, we hire a network security experts who basically, because this is part of our network and uh, I want to secure this asset from external attack. So we have a network security people. If tomorrow any attack happen in the organization, we have a people who investigate the attack and make sure this should not be happen again. We have a SOC analyst for that, security operations center analyst people who investigate the incident and patch that issues and make sure they should not be happen again. We also have a forensic investigators who basically investigate crimes and try to understand what is happened, why this happened and send, you know, sometimes some, some cases are basically going in the court and all that. So we need to submit the entire case and all that. So forensic investigators are the people who has been hired to investigate why this happened. Then we have a application security people who basically securing the applications. We have a secure coding option where you write a code you write a code in a secure manner and these people basically ensure you have wrote a code in a secure manner there is no errors which can lead to the application to be hacked nowadays we have a new profile which is called DevSecOps so if you ask me okay and then we have a uh, people who basically creating a security as a process in the company which is called compliance specialist uh, who create a policies who do the risk assessment before taking a new project we called as a GRC people security GRC people so we have a multiple verticals okay one is testing one is implementations and all that now one of the first thing um, before opt for any of this field okay first you need to understand your why w h y why you want to do that because see normally what happen is um, um, you know when you're in a 10th standard okay so you have a two three options once you clear your 10th standard especially those who are from india uh, do I attend? Uh, do I do commerce? Okay. Do I do science? And shall I go for arts? And I'm sure 60 percent of the kids feel really bad that okay after 12th I miss I I, I might took should took that you know commerce as a stream or arts as a stream or I should take a, a you know science as a stream under the pressure of parent I I, I selected wrong stream. So you're doing the same mistake again now. Once you complete your cert your graduations and all that, you, where you basically taking an advice from the experts so-called me or others that which vertical is basically good for me my humble request is 
even you want to go for forensic investigation you want to go for grc you want to go for network security pen testing you need to be very clear with your why why you want to go for pen test why you want to go for soc why you want to go for um, you know uh, forensics why you want to go for grc so your why should be clear see you ask me i suggest you go for grc because i i am from grc definitely i will prefer tell you grc same you will ask the sock guy okay what is you what is according to you the best uh, in the cyber security he will definitely say that okay uh, you know uh, sock is basically the great option for us okay because he worked on the sock right now so what happen is because you depend on other you got influence and then what happen is we basically took the advice we, we took the call that is what is happen this is the biggest mistake you you guys are doing because i used to receive lot of dm prab according to you uh, how good is a forensic investigation according to you how good is your uh, network security you know i want to change the career so never ever go through someone's else advice because you're going to decide your career based on that you're going to spend next 10 15 years on that so my suggestion is that first the first step before you enter into cyber security i can assure you one thing in all the field you have a great value only thing is that you need to do the mastery only thing you have to do is mastery that's the most important part so every vertical has a great career like if you ask me i did cissp in 2013 that time there is a very few people who are doing cissp and i was completely unemployed for a one year but later on the uh, you know i was i was not leaving that particular vertical cissp compliance and all that and in that one year i made that particular thing so good that later on people know me for the cssp trainer or csa trainer csm trainer so if you make a expertise in a one particular vertical you can mint great money that's the most important part so your why should be clear so how to clear your why because you are new to cyber security see some people basically have some uh, kids thought process some come with the baby thought process okay since child i am good with maths since child since kid i am basically good with problem solving okay so you good with problem solving you love technical then pen testing sock is a good option no prob i am very good with the documentation i have some ocd uh, if i don't maintain the documentation i am good with process so okay then go for compliance now this visibility so first homework is understand the different verticals in cyber security information security check the jds okay as a pen tester what we do as a red teamer what we do as a soc analyst what we do as a grc expert what we do so all those things you have to check thoroughly that is the first step and that give you visibility why should i do this particular program or why should i go to this particular vertical so why you get cleared when you do your homework because see you should not trust someone even me okay because you don't know my life same like you cannot trust your people who are referring you because they been through their experience okay and you have to give your 10 15 years in that vertical it is not a two year program it is not a college graduation you have to decide a career based on that and in the security one important thing is that your experience matter you cannot change after five year understood like some people in in confident manner they take science and after two months they realize i'm not good in science i have to move to commerce so the you wasted your two months you're getting a point so you why should be clear now i'm assuming your why is clear second step is basically what is required to make expertise in that vertical see if you still not clear with the why or you clear with the why my first suggestion is basically do comshia security plus training okay i am not here to promote any vendor training okay the reason is that one of the shortcut shortcut way to get the high level view of information security is by training only or these trainings are available free also i'm not saying you have to pay for that okay even i work for the infosec train i can say that okay you can do the training so because this channel is purely not promoting any product even it's my own company so udemy is there youtube is there professor mesra videos are there they have a lot of videos on comshia security plus now what is the benefit of attending or doing a comshia i'm not saying you should go for certification i'm not saying you should go for a training the benefit is that there is already a structured course 
structure course in the market which giving you the holistic view of all the vertical cyber security otherwise you have to manually put your efforts you getting a point so security plus commercial security plus cover your basics of cyber security if you new to that then infrastructure security network security compliance pen testing soc everything so you basically get a high level view from all these vertical now i'm assuming you did your security plus okay now once you done with the security plus you get an idea oh okay so we have this option i like pen testing let me give my 10 2 months on pen testing or i like in this subject soc soc look good great for me let me do my time spend on soc no 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 compliance look great so i will do compliance so when you go through that you automatically experience see no one in this world i can say proudly no one in this world followed someone's blindly and become an expert okay someone told me 15 years back do mcsa or ccn i did that and it was it it, it it was not a waste because i built the base there okay but today i am a cyber security expert so we never follow someone blindly like that we just take their advice because this guy is a network security guy or i i know this guy from last 15 years so humble request is by end of the day it is your call only okay to take the field vertical so i am assuming after doing a security plus you get the clarity okay i want to make a career in pen testing i'm taking one example reference here okay pen testing okay now how to start pen testing now if you go for the multiple vendor program see here now you want to pen testing okay uh, why you did ch sorry why you did security plus because you are looking for a uh, shortcut way to understand the cyber security of holistic cyber security that's why there was a structure content was there which give you the perspective now same also in pen testing also now in pen testing you need to find one vendor who offer end to end structured pen testing course otherwise you have to spend effort you have to search what is come under pen testing and all that so my request is first check all the pen test jds job descriptions see what they are looking in pen testing what they are looking in the pen tester okay then i'm not telling you i'm not recommending you directly do the investment in any training vendor course because it will go up to 50 to 60000 rupees or up to 1000 dollars i'm not telling you to invest like that my humble request is that first do the basic investment like you do the investment in udemy where the course price start from 10 dollar 20 dollar i think that is a minimum investment you can do check youtube videos make one men- mentor it's very important to make one mentor in pen testing and trust that mentor then it's not something okay and after 3 months I, i don't think so this mentor is good so i have to change the mentor no don't do that if you finalizing one mentor be with that mentor for your next 5 year because he will be your guru because what he learn in last 10 15 years he going to serve in a youtube content like people reach out to me on youtube uh, channel for my grc content network security i do i, I do appreciate that because i am putting my effort same like final as one mentor who good only in pen testing see i do i do cover everything but it doesn't mean i'm expert in one so i am expert in everyone no i do cover everything because i have a holistic view of all the information because this is how i started my journey i started my journey with mcsa then ccna then i did checkpoint cisco and then i move into pen testing and then i did grc so my request is if you so your your why is clear now after doing security plus pen testing you want to make a career then once you done with the pen testing you need to know okay how to make expertise in a pen testing so second step is basically you attended any training program or did the custom training where you attend the pen testing functions now once you done with that now i am assuming you want to try for a first job first step in job is basically build a solid linkedin network second is basically start your youtube channel third create an account in github and there you basically prepare your projects okay you did the pen testing of this infrastructure okay so this is how i did share your write up okay contact the external consultant who good in preparing your cv because cv is the only way present your profile cv is the only way you can basically sell yourself so your cv should be outsourced to third party who good with preparing your cv make sure your cv should not be more than one page because hr don't have a time fourth suppose you got a interview call from abc company before you basically schedule your interview uh you know you can basically check the jd check the company history check any pen tester in the company reach out to him and see what kind of a job is that do your social engineering 
on the interview day be clear what you know what you don't know that's the most important part and do appreciate all the questions what they ask by the hr if you fail no issues make a note of those questions and study hard use chat gpt google bard and other tools to prepare those questions again and again check the youtube videos like pentest interview questions or anything or join the reddit forum okay and that is how you can basically get the first job now this video is for also those people uh, who always dm me regarding prab i am ca cyber security is my interest um i'm confused shall i do network security soc and all that again back to same even if i recommend you do the soc even if i recommend you do the network security by end of the day it is you who want to implement that so before reaching out to any mentor first explore all the field check what is available in that and then you basically schedule the call with the mentor this is my suggestion okay i am if i tell you about my background i i i i clear 10th with the 35% 40% in 12th i have a b uh, this called arts there's no no connect of maths in my vertical then i did my graduation with open university in ba pass so there's no maths there but doesn't mean i am a pro pen tester because for pen testing you need to know programming so i know my limitation that is why i don't make my career in pen testing i know my limitation that's why i haven't make any career in the soc but i make a career in grc and today i'm basically working for two projects where i'm handling a ciso activities and everything so this is what if you if you came from a non maths background and you 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 fascinated it through the videos of pen testing and all that i want to learn this you need to remember one thing when you you go, go goes into the pen testing you need to know programming because sometimes you need to prepare your exploits and all that if you go into the soc you need to have a lot of dependency on tools and all that so every vertical has a advantage also and disadvantage also you have to see how this particular vertical giving me advantage because in all the four or five verticals whatever we have i can give you assurance you get a same salary salary money is not a big issue the issue will be here your capability your skill if you don't like maths if you don't like programming then you can't survive in pen testing don't go by youtube videos and say okay kali pen testing tool is there or automation tool is there i will run that tool and do the pen testing in that case your your growth have a limitation you can't grow more than that because unless you don't good in building your own tool same with soc also running a wire shack is not about soc investigating a packet investigating a binary for that what you need to know you need you need to know some programming language sometime you need to run some perl python script to investigate the soc wire shack logs and all that but grc is basically where uh you know we don't need to know programming you getting a point so it's very important i know my limitation that's why i decided in the later stage because but i spend my time in all the vertical it is okay because security plus is something which very important in all the vertical security plus is very common okay security plus is very common so you have to see after doing security plus how much i want to rate myself on pen testing compliance soc okay then network security infra security and then create a two year road map first i will review the jd then i will do one course program self learning it's very important start your journey with self learning the reason why it give you motivation of learn but if you directly start attending any commercial pay training you have a lot of dependency there so first create a hunger when you have a limited resource you are super motivated okay you are more hungry to for the right source of information so it's very important in the initial stage do the self learning try to learn what is that because if you go with a blank mind okay you will not able to understand anything from the trainer and you will lose your money do some homeworks do attend some good programs on from udemy youtube and all that and then you understood okay this is what my limitation i got an idea about abcd now i want to learn how to format the sentence from this abcd then i'm going to pay the huge huge money and all that on the training vendors because now you are clear with your concepts so this is all from my side do let me know how do you find this particular video and if you find this video useful do share in network and i'm planning to make a continuation series of the video on cyber security and drop your comment drop your shares your views on the comment box which motivate me to make more videos on that your friend prabnair thanks thanks for joining this particular session good day bye